Do you guys know what speakeasy bars are? Yes, yes, yes. If you don't know what they are, they're like very hidden bars, you know. They're hidden in other establishments. I went to one in New York once. I had to go through this uh, barber shop, and uh, you go through the barber shop. Then all of a sudden, there's like a hidden door. Then you're in a bar all of a sudden. You're in a barber shop minus the burr shop. And um, <laughs> imagine if that was the whole joke. <laughs> Thanks for coming out there. <laughs> Anyway, so one night me and my two friends were looking for one of these speakeasy bars and we got it on the Google Maps, we're following the Google Maps and uh, then it said we arrived eventually, but the place we arrived at was a place called the Asian Playhouse and I've got to say it looked a hell of a lot like a brothel. It, um, <laughs> it really did. We're like, who knows, maybe it's the place. So we went in and uh, it was almost 100% a brothel <laughs> and uh, I don't know if we got any brothel heads in tonight. Um, <laughs> I don't know, we've got big brothel boys in, but um, I, I've never been to a brothel. I've never even been to a strip club. I, uh, I get a little bit into belly dancing because um, <laughs> I'm more of a cultural pervert, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm a perv, but I want some culture as well, okay? It's like, I've got an erection, but I'm eating hummus, so it's fine, you know? <laughs> So anyway, we were there and my friends, they were like, well, Ben, you know, this is, you know, this is clearly not the speakeasy bar. We should go. And I was sort of like, all right, guys, hold your horses just a little second here, okay? That's the whole point of a speakeasy bar is that it's hidden, okay? Maybe it's extra hidden. Maybe there's some sort of secret code or something. You know what I mean? Like maybe we have to ask for three erotic massages or something and, <laughs> and that's the code. Anyway, so we got three erotic massages and... Um, <laughs> They took us to the massage table. My head went straight through. Call back. And, um, <laughs> people love a call back. And, um, so anyway, then they're like massaging us. And I can hear my friends, you know, they were separated by a thin sheet. You know, they're like, Ben, this is clearly not the speakeasy bar. And I'm, you know, I'm there. I'm like, you know, you guys are probably right. You know, that's probably right. Maybe we should go. So anyway, I go to get up to leave. As I go to get up to leave, this masseuse, she flips me over. She's very strong. She flips me over in, in one smooth movement and, uh, and not to be crude or anything, but my, my erect penis is in the air. And um, again, not to be crude, it's erect because I was still excited for the speakeasy bar. You know what I mean? It, it had great reviews. And uh, anyway, I go to get up to leave. This lady who's doing the massage, she grabs my penis. And um, she, she grabbed the worm. And, um, and anyway, and she, she sort of yanked it to the, to the left, sort of like a lever. She yanked it to the left, and, uh, and a hidden door opened. There was a speakeasy bar right behind us. 